Welcome to the Law of One channel. Conscious Channeling, December 1st, 1985. LL Research. Carla Channeling. I am Hatan, and I greet you in the love and in the light of our infinite creator. We pause with you, my friends, to enjoy the plangent silence of the harmony of this group and the haunting sound of your wind chime as you remain warm and protected within your domicile. The harsh winds of the winter begins to cause the environment about you to become less hospitable to your form of chemical life, which you enjoy within this illusion. There are times, my friends, when there are severe patterns of internal weather as well, for the illusion is as dense within the mind as it is without the mind, unless steps which we have recommended time and again are taken. Let us begin with simple principles. There is that which is unchangeable. That is not within your presence, but that is what you seek. Yet upon the sphere which you call earth, all that you see is changeable, and all that you see within yourself from time to time may seem to be all too changeable and undependable. If that which you seek is that which is unchangeable, then there must be tools which can be used within the illusion to find that kingdom of unchangeability, which is findable within the illusion. These tools are the will to know and the faith to believe that grace or kindness. Cosmologically speaking, will offer you that which there is to know. This instrument has experienced an ongoing series of lessons in the art of facing an illusion and accepting an illusion. Most of those upon your planet who seek will find periods wherein their will is not equal to the task of processing the catalyst which it has to process. When the force of will breaks down, the illusion is complete, and many things may be distorted. Moreover, this process does not continue and then stop. It is steadily degenerative and is a blender of polarity in that that which constitutes of the worry, the fear, the apprehension has the nature which subtracts positively from an entity which harbors and continues to harbor the more serious of fears and apprehensions. This message is not for those who are still asleep. For those who sleep, learn precisely from the catalyst which we are urging the seeker to consider facing with a renewed vigor of will. Those who sleep, having no consciousness of a need for will, react in a random manner, learning at a somewhat slow rate, the lessons of love. However, we speak to those who have already seized that path and named that path for their own, that path which leads towards truth. When one is overcome by the illusion, it may well seem as if one is doing some violence to one's inner self by imposing upon it affirmations and meditations. 
This is, to a certain extent, worth some consideration. An entity which is experiencing catalysts may well wish to declare a period of examination of thoughts and behavior. During this time, it is best to allow the self to be without influence from within or from without. We recommend this sort of analytical overview as taking no more than a period within one of your days. We do not recommend retaining the lack of affirmation, the lack of seeking, for the nature of the illusion can be seen, and the pogentnessy of experience grasped within a relatively short time. When the entity is convinced, then that all that is observable has been observed. It is time for the entity to recall that which invigorated and enlivened the entity and sent it upon the journey in the first place. For it is easy to begin a journey, but it is difficult to retain the energy of the journey until one has made a complete and irreversible choice of polarity. The fidelity of will is most important. Thus, we suggest to those whose head is bowed with some anguish, difficulty, or pain, that the facility of mind and observation be applied. But then the mind be cast back to the memory of joy and peace and love, which is the frequent fruit of the seeker. This is the fuel, which is internal and organic, and not applied from without, which enables a suffering entity to make its own affirmations, to seek again its own silence, and to bring into being an entity built about the center of seeking. We ask those who suffer to free themselves if it takes a day, a season, one of your years, or longer, for the self which is burdened in the illusion which suffers without thought is opaque, and the love and the light of the infinite Creator shine not through opacity, but through transparency. Turn and turn again, and once again, and always again, to the seeking that has occupied your ideals, your desires for knowledge, and your seeking of love. For although you continue experiencing when sunk within the illusion, the processing of that experience is greatly slowed without the retaining and developing of desire. The need for desire, fresh each day, does not fall away when the student is not an introductory student. Indeed, the need for purer and purer seeking grows as the student begins to partake somewhat of that for which it seeks. My friends, we speak for the most part for those who are beginning upon the path of seeking. We attempt within the clumsy confines of your language to identify terms to express inspiration that words cannot encompass. And yet, there are few indeed among your peoples in third density which are able to sustain the keen point 
of seeking in a steady state over the period of a incarnation. Therefore, we speak to the most experienced and the most learned of seekers. The key to upsetting experiences is that they separate the experiencer from the seeker within. The experiencer is a small portion of the personality unless it is linked within the seeker within. And so, my friends, when the air seems to grow dark and the winter of the soul sets in, know once again that all seekers are ever beginners and that the simplest of rules, if we may use that word, apply. Seek and seek and seek yet again. And do not feel that you have let yourself down. When you have fallen away from the seeking, wrapped up in overwhelming experience, but without judgment and without impatience, turn again to seeking. And from that seeking, from that meditation, from that inner silence, draw once again from the inexhaustible supply of love and joy. The kingdom which is all of love and joy awaits within you, but you must seek it. We give you encouragement and sympathy, O you who dwell within that which seems to be and yet is not. How very dim the light is, and how very much there is to be seen as one seeks along a trail seemingly plunged in darkness. And yet this too is an illusion. Determine therefore to voice that within yourself which is your best, and persevere. Remember one difference between the beginning seeker and the seeker who has chosen his, her path. The beginning seeker may go from knowledge to knowledge, from system to system, because this is the first step in seeking, to find the correct path for the entity who seeks. But once the path has attracted the seeker, and the path has been taken by the seeker, that special and unique path which each seeker chooses alone, it is well to retain that path to the end of the incarnation. Developing, learning more, adding always to the depth of experience, but letting the intellectual mind and its limitations give way to the constant stream of acute perception, which is available to one who seeks infidelity along its unique path. Cry your tears, my children, when tears are to be shed. But in the morning, turn again and begin again. And know yourself as the eternal beginner. As we said, we are always with you if you request our presence, as our other principles and intelligences which wish to aid you. Ask, and you shall receive help. Ask, too, of those about you who seek along the path. In communication with your fellow travelers, much of love and light may be generated. Communication then heals the will and enables the faith. Therefore, seekers, love one another and witness the light to each other, for you are part of the Creator experiencing itself, and as you share yourself with others, 
others see that part of the Creator which you manifest. Let your being manifest that which is of the unchangeable. We are those of Hatan, and we leave this instrument in the love and in the light of our infinite Creator. Adone, my friends. Adone Vasu Bragas.